Okay, I've reconfigured the honey stove into its full configuration. And as you can see, it's a hexagonal pad with a floor. And again, it can, uh, primarily is used for uh, using wood fuel, little sticks and things. I guess you could put a uh, uh, couple of Esbit tablets in there, but it's awfully far away from the, from the uh, top. Anyway, it has the uh, Trangia adapter installed. It's just a little shelf, and we've put it... Uh, in the most efficient, I guess, position, which is right there in the middle. Same as we had it before, and the Trangia burner just fits right down in there. Very slick. Same burn height, two inches. Now, you'll notice that the stove uh, is bigger than my pot. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be a common problem, but they do provide that grill. And here's another one of those uses. Instead of using this as a literal grill with an open flame, you can use that to uh, accommodate smaller pots, which is what we're going to do. All right, once more into the breach, we're going to put our, oh, let's light this first. Get that going, we'll put the uh, grill across there. We got 16 ounces tap water ready to go, waiting for a blossom. I'm going to turn that a little bit so you can see better. Okay, we got the stove going, so let's put on the kettle, start the timer, and we'll see what we get. All right, here's a close-up of the burn action. As you can see, it's highly reflective. It's almost a mirror finish. Um, it's pretty big. It'd be great for a large skillet or a big pot. Uh, you can certainly see where you could easily feed sticks and twigs in here and keep a fire going pretty good. Good airflow from the bottom. <clears throat> you can see the burners raised up off the floor, which may be one of the reasons it works better in this position in the first place. This is where they recommend the Trangia uh, installation, so uh, I'm sure they did their homework when they were designing this. Okay, we're well, this is running. Uh, a little bit about the ordering. I did mention this is from Great Britain and uh, had to be shipped overseas here to Texas. And uh, I was a little, uh, a little worried about that, but it turned out to be no big deal at all. Um, I'll put a link to the uh, website. Uh, the name escapes me right off the top of my head, but it, there is a distributor, main distributor of these stoves in Great Britain who ships to the U.S. The price that's listed on the website uh, includes a, I don't know, I think it's somewhere in the order of 20% value-added tax, or VAT is what they call it uh, over there. It's their version of the sales tax, but it's at the federal level, uh, which, of course, we don't have to pay. So uh, the shipping was $14 U.S. Um, to get it shipped over here, and it arrived in about seven days, and it was uh, seven business days, and I think that was uh, pretty reasonable. Uh, and, of course, that offsets that uh, is actually cheaper uh, than the 20% uh, VAT, or very close to it. Um, so it's pretty much a wash on the price uh, for the extra shipping. Um, I, I have to say I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, the pocket stove uh, variety is also available by itself uh, without uh, without the screen and the extra panels and so on. So if you just are interested in the very small backpacking stove for the Trangia or wood or Esbit uh, tablets, um, I'm, I'm going to give this one a high recommendation. Okay, there's one, one, two. All right. Wow, sub five minutes. That's excellent. Check that out. Four minutes, 58 seconds. Just a quick picture of that flame. As you can see, it's uh, going quite strong. And uh, I guess the only downsides here would be that uh, right now, I can't get that on there. I can't get the snuff cap. Uh, I can't maneuver that in there from the side, and I can't do it with the grate. So I'm going to have to get a uh, hot pad, remove the grill, and then snuff it. Uh, minor inconvenience overall. I think that's a... That's a pretty nice configuration. Um, certainly versatile. In case you run out of alcohol, you can always use wood. If you had the Esbit tablets uh, maybe packed away as an emergency uh, fuel source, it's quickly convertible to that. Uh, I believe a couple of people have um, 
Uh, I think there's some other YouTube videos that show a um, uh, a plate or a little cup being used inside of this Trangia um, uh, shelf, I can call it, adapter, uh, to actually hold the uh, Esbit tablets a little closer to the uh, pot surface. So I tell you, it's highly configurable, highly packable, easy, uh, easy to configure, and um, very versatile. I give it high marks, and this uh, four minute and 58 second uh, boil time for 16 ounces is mighty impressive. Good job, my limey buddies. Thanks for watching. Time to perk. Until next time, happy camping.